Hey guys, just before this video starts, if any of you guys are looking to buy or sell any cheap Rocket League credits, blueprints, items, basically anything you want, AOEAH is a third party website that buys and sells Rocket League items. If you want to check it out, use the link in the description and use code XYZ on your checkout for 6% off your order. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some special advice with you guys. Um, I get a question quite often about like, how to make really cool looking cars for you know people that can't always afford the insanely expensive and hyped up items and uh today i'm going to be going through about like four or five tips of you know what are some of the easiest ways and cheapest ways to make an insane looking car for a relatively ex uh, a relatively cheap deal Okay guys, so the first one here, you're probably going to be looking at this and thinking, okay, this is a white mainframe, a white Apex, and a white Fennec. How is this cheap? And I'm going to explain something to you guys. All right. So first of all, let's take a look at that decal, that, uh, that white mainframe right there. It's actually a pink mainframe, believe it or not. Uh, so a fun, fun fact about the, the pink mainframe, sure, if you make the secondary black, you can tell off the front that uh, that is pink. But if you have um, a lighter color here, for the most part, I mean, you can you can rarely tell the difference between pink and white mainframe when you set your colors to this. Usually I use uh, just red and the sky blue on both ends of it. It's a super cheap alternative to getting a white mainframe. This is just uh, one card that's just, just how to look like you're super rich when you're really just on a budget. Um, the second thing I wanted to talk about is the white fennec. You know, white fennec's quite expensive. Um, the thing I wanted to just mention is get it from the item shop when it shows up, you know, white fennec and white dominus, when they show up in the item shop for like a thousand or 800 credits, whatever they show up for, um, just, just get them, bro. It's better to just pay that cheap price from the item shop rather than paying a hefty price on the trading market. I mean, right now you're looking at a pink mainframe, a 800 credit white Fennec, uh, or it might have been 700, I don't remember, uh, whatever it showed up in the item shop for, and then you're thinking white Apex. Nope, uh, they're gray. Gray and white Apex look um, about 95% identical. Um, there is a tiny, tiny, minute difference um, when you get them sitting side by side in a lobby. You can kind of tell the white are just a tad bit brighter, but in a game or anything, no one's gonna tell the difference between the two. I know gray Apex is still extremely expensive. I know, before you guys start to talk to me about X, this was supposed to be helping us out who are on a budget. I know, the rest of this video is for that. I just wanted to mention, you know, if you're at the point where you can afford a gray Apex and you wanna just make everyone think you have a white Apex, Getting a gray Apex is a great way to do it. I mean, back in the day, I even pranked uh, the camping rusher with a, a striker gray Apex, and he actually thought it was titanium white. Um, and I mean, that just shows you, you, you know, like it, they're so hard to tell the difference between them. Why pay the hefty price for a titanium white one when you can just get a gray one? Alrighty guys, let's get into some really cheap designs now. So the second tip I wanted to give you guys is basically just always buy the rocket pass every season just put in your 10 bucks or whatever you want to get the rocket pass and just play the game enough to where you get maybe 150 200 tiers you know um the season's about halfway over and i've just been playing casually on the side and i'm already at like tier 75 or something and um this car is exclusively rocket pass items only these are items you know i've just gotten just from playing the game um obviously I, I always am that guy that buys hundreds of tiers of the Rocket Pass, but this is just kind of showing you guys, if you just play the game and put 10 bucks in every couple months, you can get an insane looking car uh, for super cheap, just from playing the game and buying the Rocket Pass. You know, I got a Titanium White Chikara GXT on here. Uh, for the decal, I have a white mainliner, and then I have a crimson mainliner on the blue side. I just love this car and this decal. Really, really cool and especially underrated since they're super cheap from the Rocket Pass. The wheels I put on the, the black inverted grip strides just because, you know, how could you not love 
the inverted grip strides. Obviously, these are quite expensive now. I know that. But if you had been playing at the time they came out and just played the game, you would have gotten them for free just from the Rocket Pass. So, again, you don't need to pay these hefty prices. On the boost, I got um, the Titanium White Manga Bolt. I think this was super uh, awesome when it came out. I love this boost. Um, it's super cheap and underrated. Uh, I definitely recommend it. For the Gold Explosion, I put on a Meta Blast. Again, it's just things from the Rocket Pass you get for free from playing the game. And then Titanium White Laser Wave 3. This is, in my opinion, the best trail in the game. I have not stopped using this since it came out. As you can tell, per the 10,700 shots on goal with this thing, I pretty much just only use this. And um, it's just such an awesome trail. I mean... Who wouldn't want to use this again it's from the rocket pass and if you just play the rocket pass and get your free stuff you, pro you probably would have gotten this if you had uh, been buying the rocket pass each time it came out alrighty guys so tip number three is just look for really cool items that are extremely cheap like right here we got the white Dominus you get it in the item shop for a thousand credits you got white loopers on the car these um these are super cheap in my opinion they go for like 700 to 800 credits each and then i chucked on a parallax i don't know exactly what parallax is going for i haven't checked it recently um but it can't be too expensive because i remember a couple months ago it was just a few hundred credits i'm pretty sure um so again a really super cheap black market and this this entire car i built to match itself that's what i'm kind of talking about guys is just find really cool underrated items that match each other like you got white loopers white parallax now you're probably thinking x there isn't a boost that could possibly match this car is there a gray data stream matches white loopers and parallax perfectly well i love this combo it's just super cool to use with um your titanium white loopers and again super cheap that's that's the whole thing of this video i didn't put on a uh a goal explosion or a trail for this car i believe but yeah again just look for really cool items that just are visually appealing but don't have a bunch of hype surrounding them so they're usually going to be quite cheap all right and tip number four is batmobile just just batmobile like why do you need anything else all right guys so tip number five is just be yourself, be unique, just go out there, what looks cool to you? What I wanna stress the most in this video is that you don't always have to buy the items that are extremely hyped up, expensive, crazy rare. You don't need those items to have a cool car. Like, um, believe it or not, I run the Fennec, uh, not the Fennec, uh, the Twinzer. Oh gosh, sorry, it's, uh, it's getting pretty late here, guys, so <laughs> my brain's a bit, uh, on uh, um, uh, running on fumes right now but as I was saying I use the Twinser quite a bit just because I like the look of it and this is just proof guys you don't need expensive items to be happy with your car this is just a car I chucked together with items I really love I mean you got the uh, the white Twinser here which is super cheap I think it's like a few hundred credits it's less than a thousand credits I know that for sure um, and then a black dune racer for the Twinser that came out in the item shop for a hundred credits again super cheap uh, the wheels are black creepers which um, I personally love the look of these they're super cool uh, super unique in my opinion although a lot of people are gonna say oh they're just the the dark black wheels those aren't unique yes I'll agree to that um, but I just like how the tentacles are coming out it's just a little bit unique in that way where it's like the wheels are kind of alive uh, it's kind of like a, a the cauldron wheel, if you remember what that is, but a little bit cooler, in my opinion. And then, um, I'm using the Netherworld boost, because I just, I've, I've used this for a while now. Not, not many people know. I use the Alpha boost a lot, obviously, because it's the Alpha boost. Why wouldn't you use it? Um, but I use the Netherworld boost quite a bit on the side. Um, just, you know, whenever I'm feeling like, oh, I'll just chuck it on this green-ish car, and it's, it's kind of cool for the most part. Um, and then I use uh, Black Stegosaur Topper because this is just a few hundred credits and I think based on looks and how it doesn't really get in the way like a lot of your normal toppers do, um, I think this is one of the best toppers in the game for uh, based on 
first of all, how cheap it is and the, the cool appearance of it, I just think it's really worth just picking up and having in your inventory so you can use it, you know, whenever you, you feel like it, you know? It's just something cool to have. Alrighty guys, I hope that was helpful for all you viewers that are trying to make really cool cars but just don't have a bunch of cash to throw at the game. That's completely understandable. I know a lot of uh, people always ask me, you know, how do I get an insane looking car without having to spend, you know, 100, 200, 300, even sometimes a thousand dollars on the game just to get some of the best items in the game. I just think it's very silly how a lot of people get caught up in the hype behind like certain specific items. Like I understand some things are rare, they're cool. Uh, sure, th th that's great, but you don't always have to spend hundreds of dollars to get an insane looking car. One of the things I just hope you guys take out of this video is just do, do what you like. Use the items that you think are cool. Just because the rest of the community might say an item is trash or not cool, if you think it's cool, that's all that should matter, really. If you want to play this game and enjoy it, just make a car that you think looks awesome and have a fun time playing the game. It doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter, you know, if everybody hates your car, whether they love it or not. At the end of the day, it's your car. Therefore, it should be yours, as in you should design it with items you like. You shouldn't just follow what everybody else says you should use. You shouldn't just use items because they're rare and cool and expensive. Just do what you think is awesome. I hope that was helpful for you guys. I hope some of these tips and tricks help you guys out. And uh, yeah, take care. See you next time.